Hi, I'm Heidi Oxner, and I'm the Registered Dietitian at the Tummy Temple. Welcome to the June edition of the Vitality Club newsletter, and this month we're definitely talking detox. So I'm going to walk you quickly through a step-by-step -step diet that's going to be great for most people during detox. One, we're going to be avoiding the foods that are going to work against us during the detox. So we're going to be avoiding things like alcohol, sugar, and caffeine. Sorry, Seattle. We're also going to be avoiding things like processed foods, boxed foods that are containing additives, preservatives, MSG, food colorings. We don't need these things during our detox. We need to be focusing on fresh, whole, organic foods. So a great focus is fresh vegetables, fresh fruit. Especially, there's a great list I'd like to give you of foods that are specifically going to actually help upregulate the liver's detoxification pathways. So they're going to support your liver even more during the detox. So some of the fruits and vegetables that would involve would be things like beets, garlic and onions, leafy greens, all the cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, kale, bok choy. Then there's also burdock root, daikon radish, artichokes. Did I say lemons and limes? Lemons and limes. There's a lot of great ones. So these are just some of the ones that you can specifically focus on. All fruits and vegetables are going to be wonderful. You're really going to want to be well hydrated, two to four liters of water a day. You're going to want either well-filtered water or you're going to want spring water. You need to keep things flushed and clear, moving and hydrated, so water's great. Some people are going to keep grains in during their detox. Some people aren't. If you do keep grains in, then I would definitely be suggesting the non-gluten grains, so gluten-free grains. Also, I would be suggesting corn, no corn, corn-free. So gluten-free, corn-free grains would be things like brown rice, millet, quinoa, amaranth, teff. These are wonderful options during a detox. Also, some people will be keeping in proteins and some people will not. If you are keeping in proteins, then I would be suggesting things like beans, nuts and seeds, 100% organic, grass-fed beef, buffalo, lamb, pastured chicken and turkey. And I want smaller portions in general, three, four ounces. These are going to be great proteins if you're deciding to keep those things in. Some people go all the way down to just vegetable juice, fruit, a little bit of fruit juice, or just fresh fruits and vegetables. Other people need to keep in proteins. It really depends. Detoxing can be very individualized. If someone is doing a candida cleanse or a yeast cleanse, they're going to be avoiding a lot of the fruits and grains because they can't get in that many carbs. If someone has adrenal issues, they're definitely going to want to keep in the proteins because they need to keep their adrenals up during their detox. So because of this very specific and specialized detail, I would highly suggest people coming in, seeing either myself or another practitioner, so that they can get an idea of what's going to really work for them, not only for their health goals, but for their schedule. Some people work during their detox, some don't. This can make a really big difference. So come in, do yourself a favor, and get yourself set up on something that's going to work for you, because what we really want is we really want to see you succeed. So hopefully I'll see you this June at the Tummy Temple, and have a great detox. Thanks.